Hey my loves, welcome to my channel. Happy Diwali to all who ever is celebrating this year. In today's video, I'm going to share my Diwali look with you all. So if you are interested to know how I created this, keep watching the full video. But before that, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification so that you'll never miss an update whenever I post a new video. So without any further ado, let's dive into this. As we all know, Diwali is festival of lights. That's why I wanted to create something more glam and sparkly. So I created a brown smoky eye with glitters and nude lips. One tip from me, so whenever you are doing a smoky eye or using glitter, try doing your eyes first because if there is any fallouts, you can just wipe it off. I started with the concealer which I applied to my eyelids and the concealer that I am using is from Manish Malhotra which is in shade warm porcelain. I am blending it with a wet beauty sponge and then I am gonna set it with some banana powder from my glam. And to apply it I am using a fluffy brush from Miniso. The brushes from Miniso are super super soft and affordable. Now moving on to eyeshadow, I am using my oldest eyeshadow palette here which is from Jaclyn Hill and it has the great colors for smoky eyes. So whenever I am doing smoky eye, I use this palette only. I have taken a brown shade and I am applying it to my crease using a small blending brush and blending everything nicely so that there is no harsh line left. I am doing the same to my other eye. I'm doing both the eyes simultaneously because it's quick for me. Meanwhile, I'm having my juice also because I feel very much dehydrated these days. In today's eye look, I'm going to do a lot of blending because in smoky eye, blending is the key. The more you blend, the nicer it looks. So once I'm done with the crease, I have taken the one shade darker uh, brown shade which I applied to my crease and I'm applying it very close to my lash line till my wings and again blending it well so that no harsh line left. Now I'm using the previous blending brush to blend both the colors until it looks seamless. Next I'm using the black eyeshadow and applying it to my outer V and then again blending it until it looks seamless with other two colors. You need to keep adding the colors and keep blending it until you are happy with the outcome. So I think I'm done now because it looks quite perfect to me. Next I'm using very precise pencil brush and I'm applying some highlighter to my inner corner and brow bone. Now finishing my eyeshadow look with some pressed glitter. So for uh, getting the proper uh, color which matches to my blouse, I have used two shades here. One is copper and another is golden. So I mixed two so that I get a golden color which is in my blouse. I got this glitter palette from Amazon. It is from Glam 21 I believe and it is so blendable and easy to use it's quite affordable also so if you are a glitter lover definitely you should check it so you can already see i just applied it to my whole eyelid just by one swipe and how pigmented it came out it's a, such a great palette to invest in next i'm using the same blending brush and darkening my outer v a little bit more Moving on to my brows, I am using a brow definer from My Glam, and I am only filling this parts area so that my brows look as natural as possible. And once I am done filling up my brows, I will use the spoolie uh, from the pencil itself 
to brush it so that no harsh line left at the end. For the eyeliner, I am using black eyeliner from Lotus Botanicals and I am applying a classic wing. I will apply the false lashes at the very end. Now I am cleaning my face using micellar water and cotton ball. It's a necessary step if you have done smoky eyes. So it will clean or remove if you had any fallouts. Lastly, I am curling my lashes and applying a coat of mascara. The mascara that I am using is from Color Bar. It's a Zoom and Woosh mascara which gives amazing, amazing volume to my lashes. Moving on to my face, I am starting with the Kumkumadi Thailand Face Serum for my skin prep. I am applying it to my face and neck and giving it a little massage and relaxing while doing it. Next, I am using Brightening Moisturizer Cream from My Glam again. It has a very mild uh, sparkles in it which makes your face look naturally glowy. Applying this moisturizer to my face and neck area. Next, I am applying the Magic Purple Blush from Daughter Earth. To my face i always prefer to apply it right after my moisturizer or skin prep you can say because it gives a really nice pinkish uh, effect or you can say sun kissed effect to my face next i'm using orange color corrector under my eyes which is from la girl pro conceal and then blending it using my finger Next, I am applying the foundation to all over my face and neck, which is My Glam Pose HD Foundation Stick in shade Warm Sand. And again, blending it using my Wet Beauty Sponge. Now I am using the same concealer to the areas wherever I have uneven skin tone or I want to highlight and then blending it with the beauty sponge in dab in motion. Whenever you are blending your concealer do not drag it from its place because concealer is always thick in uh, texture. So you are supposed to apply it to the areas only wherever you need them otherwise your face will look cakey. The concealer that I have used from Manish Malhotra and I love this concealer because it has quite creamy texture and it's so blendable.
For contour, I am using a compact from Kiro Beauty, which is in shade tan. I received it in a collaboration with Kiro Beauty, but it's two, three shades darker than my skin tone, so I use it as a contour. To add more shine and glow to my face, I am using Blush Plus Highlighter from Swiss Beauty which is my current favorite. You may have seen me using this a lot these days because it's really really my favorite. Lastly, I'm applying a little bit of banana powder to mattify the look. To fix my makeup, I'm using Makeup Fixer from Swiss Beauty and I'm not applying it directly to my face. Instead, I sprayed this to my beauty blender and then setting my makeup using this. All the products that I'm using in this video will be mentioned in the description box so don't forget to check it. I will provide the links also if I get. Moving on to my lips, I outlined it using lip pencil from Color Essence and then applied a lipstick which is in shade brown from Kiro Beauty again. I really enjoyed while I was creating this look. And I hope you also enjoyed watching this. First I finished my juice and then I finished my look by using some accessories like earrings, bangles and neck piece. Happy Diwali to all of you once again. I hope this Diwali brings you and your family a lot of joy and happiness. I love you guys so much. I'll see you with a brand new video. Till then stay safe, stay healthy and stay stylish. Bye bye.